What's going on, car family? I'm Ben Wayne. Thank you for joining me in another video. Today, we've returned home to Bentley, Atlanta to check out a very special car. This is the 2023 Bentley Continental GT V8 S model. This is one of my favorite models in the lineup compared to the W12. The V8 is a little bit lighter on its feet and gives you a little bit more of that sporting heritage and has a more muscular growl from that exhaust. But if you're interested in the W12, we all love the W12. It has enough torque to pull a house, but the last W12 model will be produced in April 2024. So if you're interested in the W12 model, make sure you get your order in. This particular VAS model has been finished in a dove gray with Portland hides. And today we're gonna to check out the exterior and interior details and see how this ride has been engineered for excellence. Starting the review off at the front of the V8S. One thing that sets this model apart is how the brightware has been addressed. All your traditional brightware that is typically chrome has been done in gloss black. So your matrix grill and headlight surrounds are done in gloss black and it really gives the VAS a sinister look when compared to the traditional W12. Now, of course, you have the LED matrix headlamps done with that exquisite, unique crystal cut-like design that Bentley is known for. Now, underneath the hood, what is powering this VAS model? What we're getting is a twin turbo, four liter V8. That's giving you 542 horsepower and 568 pound-feet of torque. It's connected to an eight speed dual clutch transmission. Zero to 60 occurs in just 3.9 seconds and you have a top speed of 197 miles per hour. Now, there's a couple key features that makes this engine unique. First off, it gives you cylinder deactivation if you wanna increase that fuel efficiency. But to reduce turbo lag and increase performance and give you a more compact design, it features a hot V design meaning the turbos have been placed in the valley of the cylinder banks. That's gonna give the compressed charge from the turbo a short distance to travel from the turbo to the cylinder banks, giving you near linear acceleration. So it's not gonna be a whole bunch of turbo lag when you're putting your foot down on this vehicle, giving you those extreme performance vibes that Bentley is known for. When it comes to the side profile, for me, this is the most gorgeous angle of this vehicle because it features the classic GT proportions with the long hood and then the short deck lid towards the rear of the vehicle. Now, one of the first things you'll notice about Bentley vehicles and the GT range are these sharp lines throughout this entire vehicle. These are formed by superforming and it's gonna give you crisp lines without any seams or welds in the car's bodywork. Now, since this is the V8S model, what we're getting is 22 inch gloss black 10 spoke wheels these look absolutely amazing against this paintwork. They feature the optional red brake calipers as well. And you might notice we do have the self-leveling wheel badges by Molliner. So the bees on the wheels will always remain level. Coming further back, we do have a gloss black S badge and then further gloss black accents as well. These are typically done in chrome on the regular GT models. Now this particular vehicle does feature a panoramic roof that's about a $5,000 option and wasn't always offered by Bentley, but now the GTs have it. If you're looking on getting a Bentley GT, I strongly suggest that you get the panoramic roof. It's gonna let a ton of natural light into the cabin. Looks awesome as well. Coming further back, again, we do have these sharp haunches, and then you'll notice the roof goes ever so slightly into the trunk lid. So it flows down gracefully into the trunk lid, and the rear of the vehicle is finished with elliptical, crystal cut like LED tail lamps to match the headlamps up front. And you'll notice the exhaust make the figure eight representing the car's twin turbo V8 power plant underneath the hood. To make sure the GT handles as well as it looks, Bentley has incorporated Bentley Dynamic Ride, which is its 48 volt anti-roll system. That's gonna keep this car stable on corners during spirited driving. You also have an all wheel drive system which is rear bias to give you that sharp sports car feel. So it's gonna handle well and give you those thrills that you want while putting your foot on the accelerator. Let's go ahead and check out the interior. Sitting inside the interior of the V8S, I'm reminded that no one quite does interiors the way Bentley does. This two-tone theme with the Beluga and the Portland Heights is absolutely terrific 
We have gloss carbon fiber everywhere as well. And then of course we have all the bright wear. So everything has been put together the way a Bentley should. Starting at the top of the dash, smooth black leather with the contrast stitching going throughout. Smooth to the touch, no beads whatsoever. Coming lower, we do have the rotating dash that Bentley is known for. Architecture dominance, technology subservience. That means the screen is hidden and you get to just enjoy the architecture when you don't want the technology in your face. And it also prevents the interior of this car from becoming dated like other cars on the market. So what we have is three gauges here. If I want to see the screen, I simply press the screen button and it rotates smoothly. Now there are two gearboxes, two motors, and over 40 moving parts to make this happen smoothly and seamlessly. Harley makes any noise as well. I've always loved that feature. Of course, we have all the technology that you could ever want, fully customizable screens. You guys are familiar with this by now. We do have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well. Now I've done a full review just covering this infotainment system. I'll leave the link to that in the description below. Coming further down, we do have physical buttons. These are hotkeys. If you wanna to go to a specific menu on the screen, you don't have to worry about navigating just with the touchscreen alone. So I love that feature about this vehicle. Coming lower, we have the traditional bullseye air conditioning vents. Bentley and Rolls-Royce have been known for using these vents for decades. We have a huge panel of carbon fiber here with the S badge as well, and of course the LED lighting, and then they're hitting you again with that contrast leather as well. Coming further back, I have my electronic gear selector, buttons to control my fan speed. I really like how they've integrated that into the design. Buttons for my heated and cooled seats as well. We do have a start stop button that sits proudly in the center here and a button that allows you to change the driving modes in this vehicle. Now, once you go into sport mode in the V8S, it's been altered compared to the other models to bring that exhaust to life a little bit. It sounds amazing. Coming further back, we do have two cup holders and of course, additional leather with contrast stitching. This is an adjustable rest here and it also lifts up for additional storage. Coming over to the seats, they're finished in Portland and then they do have the beluga hide as well. And you're also looking at a dual theme material as well because we have Alcantara in the center and then leather on the sides. So it gives it that sporty vibe that the VAS models are known for. Coming further to the top, we have contrast stitching and of course the Bentley logo embroidered on the top of the headrest, truly gorgeous. Now, when it comes to Bentleys, these are some of the most comfortable seats that you can get in a Grand Touring vehicle. And I'm reminded of that instantaneously when I sit in this vehicle. Coming over to the steering wheel, again, a dual tone steering wheel, contrast stitching, hand stitched. It takes a single person eight hours to stitch these steering wheels. That's how much effort that goes into these vehicles. Behind the steering wheel, I have metal shift paddles with the knurling finish behind the shift paddles feels excellent to the touch. Everything you touch in here makes you feel like you're in a $370,000 car because you are. Coming further back, even the stocks are done extremely well with the knurled finish. And then we do have a thin film transistor display system in the background here, which is configurable. If you choose to have your navigation up there, you can do that. It makes driving this vehicle extremely easy. You can also take advantage of the head up display system. So this car is packed with tons of technology, something that maybe 15 years ago, we wouldn't say about Bentley vehicles, but now they have caught up to the times. They have all the tech in these cars that you could ever want. Now, again, we have a huge panoramic roof here. Let's tons of that natural light in. I love that option. And it's also tinted so you don't get too hot while driving this vehicle in the sun. Coming over to the door panels, they're covered in that beluga leather, contrast stitching, carbon fiber, you have the LED lighting, and then you have the Portland hide as well. Now coming further down, we do have the door handles that are done in that metal, cold to the touch, and they also have the knurled accents on the back, so it gives you a nice tactile feedback when you're grabbing the door handles. Controls for all four windows and side view mirrors are done in nice metal. Everything feels great to the touch, and you do have a little bit of storage on the bottom of the doors as well, and of course, the speaker grills pop out at you against that black leather with the name for Bentley speakers in this vehicle. This is truly an excellent place to be. Now, when it comes to the rear seats, of course, it's small back there. If you're familiar with the Bentley vehicles, 
you know what you're getting. If you need a four-door sedan that gives you the same luxury presence and performance, check out the Bentley Flying Spur, which we've also done a full review on. Hold on to your butt. <laughs> Back in the saddle, we are taking the gtv s out for a spin. Back at it again, right? <laughs> Got me holding on to my butt. <laughs> so you can hear already the difference between the W12 and V8 models. The V8 has a lot more soul to it, in my opinion. A lot more throatiness. You hear that exhaust? Yeah. I, I, I hear it. You hear that? I hear it. Oh, wait, wait, just... oh, Hold on to your butt. <laughs> so I love the get up and go and these GTs. Wait, wait a minute. You're just going to just start talking after that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got to review the car as we go. Okay. Go, so go I, ahead. I, I love the get up and go of the GTs. Like I mentioned in the review, I prefer the V8 model. It's a little bit lighter on its feet than the W12. The W12 feels a little bit more nose heavy, even though it has a lot more power and torque. Look at that. You can just take off with confidence in this car. 0-60 to 60 and 3-9, and it's just the way it takes you away. It's just incredible. All right, so Isha, real quick, give us your thoughts on the car in general. Uh, overall, I really like the design of the car, the GTs. Um, it's kind of a fan favorite of mine. Very sleek, very uh, classy looking, it's, and it looks very like aggressive, but it looks also very... Uh, what do I want to say classy or yep. you know I like a rounded look you know so what's bringing the aggression in this particular model is that it features the Bentley black line specification that's gonna black out the bright wear that is traditionally chrome gotcha giving it a more sporty edge so you got the blacked out matrix grille the black accents on the sides the 22 inch black wheels with the floating B Bentley logos what more could you want in a car like this what do you think about the interior? Oh, I think the interior is done very nice. Uh, you know, I love the Alcantara. Uh, you have some um, carbon fiber here mixed with the leather. The, of course, the the stitching. I mean, it's great. My seats are wonderful. You know, I mm -hmm. mean, what what else would you expect in a Bentley? Right. This <laughs> car has it all, and I love the duo tone theme, the play on the colors, and the play on the materials. We have leather and Alcantara on the seats. A couple weeks ago, we were reviewing a sports car, and you asked me why they went with the Alcantara on the seats. Notice how it's keeping you planted yeah. in the center. You're not yeah. sliding on the leather, right? I'm not. So this is giving you that experience that I was trying to tell you about. Just overall, the handling on this car, it feels a lot lighter than what it is. There's not a lot of body roll. You know, it goes exactly where you point it. Right, so if I want to switch lanes like this, you know, I'm not feeling the weight or a ton of inertia on the car, which is a great thing, and that's thanks to that Bentley dynamic ride. I can't get over the sounds. So one of my favorite features that they incorporate in the GTs now that I mentioned is the panoramic roof. As you can see, it's letting tons of natural light in, and it's tinted. It's, it's hot outside in Atlanta today, but I don't feel a ton of heat coming into no, the cabin, I really don't. right? That's a nice touch, honestly. And, you know, of course, Alcantara on the roof. Feel that, Asia. Yep, feels so good. <laughs> so when you step into this car, you know what it's about, right? And just the luxury and the mesh of sports or that racing heritage that Bentley has, you know, you you have an appreciation for it as soon as you get in this car that was not prepared <laughs> I, you see uh, i have uh, not <laughs> stopped holding on right look when we get an opportunity to test these cars you know that's I know, exactly what i know I'm doing. i know <laughs> i know it's it's that's only the right I'm thing to do on. it's the right thing to do really <laughs> So even on some of the bumpy roads, you notice that it's able to smooth out the bumps a little bit. Yeah, it's, it doesn't feel as bad like as it would be in another vehicle. Right, and you still have that sporty edge. 
right? So I love how dynamic this vehicle is. Of course, getting onto highway ramps is not a problem. If somebody doesn't want to let me merge, I just drop my foot on the accelerator and absolutely smoke them. That's not the case today. But the way that they... For me, with Bentley, it's the execution. It's the way everything meshes so well. The sporty vibes and the luxury. You know, the the rotating screen, for example. Right? Not a lot of cars have that. And I stress that in a lot of my Bentley reviews because... Bentley's going to be dropping a refresh of this vehicle pretty soon. And it's not because the interior is dated by a touchscreen. Everything is done extremely well in here. I mean, feel the... I, I, I'm feeling it. Feel the door handles. Uh, the back of the door it's handles. Soft. It's soft. The metal door handle. Feel that. You'll notice the interior portion has a neural. Oh, yeah, it does. Right? Yeah. So Very they're nice. even going for the details that you can't see in this vehicle. And that's what makes it special. I like that. <laughs> See, it makes you feel like you're getting what you pay for in this vehicle. I better. <laughs> right? <laughs> no. Uh, Bentley always does a really good job. That knurling feeling is also on your uh, speakers. Yeah. Here, yeah. You know. Um, it's also on the shift paddles behind the steering wheel. It's on all these gear selectors. Yeah, right. Windshield wiper, you know. There's something to be said about having something in the car that you interact with that's cold to the touch that gives you a sense of quality the s model by far my favorite model in the lineup so if you guys have an opportunity to test drive one of these or if you're looking to purchase a bentley gt model again my opinion is go with the v8s they sound a little bit more lively the w12 don't get me wrong it's really smooth but those are being phased out the last w12 model is going to be made in April 2024 as you know everybody's pushing towards electric and green efficiency and whatnot and part of Bentley's first step is getting people out of that W12 <laughs> come April 2024 hold on to your butt so that's my thoughts on this quick test drive section Isha any closing thoughts uh you know what more could you, <laughs> I mean, expect from a Bentley, right? Yeah, this is just... It's good. I love it. I love it. It's the it's the exhaust note for me. Let me down just so you can hear it again. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> You're probably slowing up these people. <laughs> Look at that power. <laughs> that power. guy was like, Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He's like... <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely a head turner anywhere you go. And the people who know about this car, they know. Right. right. They know. This is an exclusive club of a super grand touring vehicle. There are not a lot of super GTs on the street. You know, you have Aston Martin and Bentley. For, for, in my opinion, those are the top two. But as far as interiors are concerned, Bentley is unmatched in the super GT market. So that was a brief overview of the 2023 Bentley Continental GT V8S. This is one of my favorite models. Again, it's a little bit lighter on its feet and it sounds absolutely amazing with that sport exhaust. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section. Special thanks to Bentley Atlanta for having me. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And until next time, I'm Ben Wayne, the automotive reviewer that YouTube deserves.